on a different note then, let's enter the dark zone. This was um, the multiplayer portion of the game, a section that's Our walled off. Our favourite portion. Yep, yeah, walled off from everywhere else. Uh, groups of four people go in. Your objective is to find loot. It's the best gear, the best weapons, but your only way of getting them out is getting to an extraction point. And yeah, if you try to sneak that shit out, it just dissolves in your hands. Uh, unless you got it equipped. <laughs> Uh, really? I had it equipped and I just ran out. You walked out with it? Yeah. Well, there's a, a trick yeah. to keep it. Obviously, you can't hunt. do all of it, though, because some of the stuff is contaminated, which case yes. wouldn't, let you take, wouldn't let you equip it. You have to extract it first. Uh, extraction, you get a minute and a half. You have to wait in the extraction zone for a helicopter to appear. And any other player who's not a member of your squad can kill you and grab your gear. Yeah, which creates an awful lot of tension. Yeah. yeah. Will tension. they help you? Will they won't? Because yeah. you just don't know who to trust. And... Which Whenever, is where, unlike Destiny, the emotes actually come in quite handy. Yeah, because like if you salute, you can be like, "Hey, yeah, we're all right, I'm we're good. right, we're not going to try and kill you guys." Yeah, it tends to be more uh, the surrender sign of the the hands going. Yeah, it's oh, all good, guys. The it's salute would be if once you'd all got your loot out, and you know, it's like, "Thank yeah, you, well yeah. done, guys, well done, good job, good job." Yeah, I mean, I I pers- my personal preference for the tactics of using the dark zone is you equip your gear and then you just run like hell. And you, find you still need to run to an extraction point, so you're going to have to yeah. stop at some stage. No, no, I mean, once you've got the loot on the extraction point, oh, you right. just run and hide. And yeah, because if you die, that, you still lose Look at that, experience. yeah, that's, that's the most un-teamwork <laughs> way of doing things, because when me and Gary were doing it, we were putting our loot on and waiting and making sure that anybody else that was trying to get Well, loot. Yeah, when I was playing with you guys, that's what we were doing, but when I was on my own, I was just like, oh, even attach when, it and even then Even when we away. were with others, if they, if they looked like they were being the team play, we would help them out when we go. I, I tell you yeah. what I remember when we were playing was there was me, there was the three of us extracting some loot out and three guys came out of nowhere and we were all like, uh oh, what are these guys oh, up completely to? Completely shafted us. No, no, no. They were, they they came up and obviously they just run straight through and attach their stuff yeah. and we're just kind of defending them as they're putting their loot on and then like they all turn around and salute us and then we all just run off yeah see that's yeah. the ideal scenario the one of course that if, before... yeah if they don't they turn around and kill you they can take your stuff the penalty for them of course is that they're then marked as rogue uh, and they get a time value that appears above their head and if you kill them in that time you get extra bonus points and can reclaim your loot or take their loot let's just be penalty. clear they get skulls above their they don't the don't shoot anyone that has a red bar because it's, you're not meant to kill them. Uh, yeah. I want to point out, Ubisoft, fix that because I <laughs> shot so many people <clears throat> that didn't need to get a shot. Well, the red bar is supposed to denote that they're actually in combat. You're supposed to actually pay attention to the skull. And the yeah, game. I think that that's not... A, they I, want I, to make sure that you're actually <clears throat> paying attention to what's going on, not just, oh, that's red, I can shoot them. Oh, yeah. that red, I don't. I don't disagree with the way that they did that in the game. I think it's a good I, thing. I know. It's just I wish the red skull was slightly bigger. It's a white skull above a red bar a white skull <laughs> yeah. then I wish it was bigger with, with a number above it um, yeah that can be quite hairy I've done it myself gone rogue we did it initially a few times by oh, mistake we, yeah um, but once you actually get into the idea of actually knowing that you want to do it you know you actually plan and you actually are more likely to be able to get away as rogue uh, I don't know if some of you might have seen our last video which is gameplay for myself uh, when myself and Chris went to extract some loot guys seemed to be okay and then suddenly they turned and killed me took our stuff uh, but because we had a group of four we went in and drove them away and that was a really good feeling of you know, lots of salutes it, there. It's, yeah it's nice to know the multiplayer aspect carries over into the dark zone as well because when the four of us were in there i don't think we could shoot each other or anything no, no that's the thing the early footage seemed to show that you could betray your teammates which kind of put me off a bit because, frankly, if you, your friends are killing you all the time, you're not going to want to play with them. Yeah. Obviously, we thought Sam. that you can't kill people on your team. You can only kill other people that are rogue. Yeah, Sam would totally do that. It would piss yeah. me off. He's but, such of course, a dick. the other point is if a member of your team kills someone else and goes rogue, there's, you get flagged up as rogue as well, even though yeah. you've done nothing wrong. If you want to know who our friend Sam is, check out Flecked Gaming because they're pretty funny. Yeah, Jasper as well. Poor Jasper. Yeah, they did a, a funny that. video about uh, someone called Gretchen, and it was it was humorous. <laughs> 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 so if you want to know who they are, check them out. They do loads of GTA videos, and they're really funny. Yeah, the links in the uh, bar here now. Yeah, so um, I really liked the Dark Zone. Um, we did most of it as a group of at least four people. Uh, I spent quite a few hours of that 
on my own, which is a very different game. It's, um, uh, yeah, that'll turn into alien isolation for me. Because <laughs> yeah. um, obviously, if there's a group of four running around, you're outgunned. And if four people turn up, you don't know if they're in the same group or not. Yeah. Especially when you've got, what, how much loot can you hold at a time? Six. Six, six lots of and loot. And if you've got six really, really shiny treasures in your backpack, you do not want to get killed. No. Especially when there's four of them just rolling up on you. Yeah, that's that, why. That, boom, <laughs> boom, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just just in their low like, ride. I'm just a white boy in the ghetto, kind of, <laughs> you know, passing through. <laughs> Which is why I totally advocate put the loot on the chopper and then run yeah, like hell. Yeah, in that situation when you're on your own, fine. When you're with a teammate, don't be an ass. I <laughs> Honestly, I think for the first couple of levels run even if you've got teammates because it's not until we started getting decent equipment that we were able to start fending people off oh it depends because at one point i went up to a point on my own actually our first run in the uh, dark zone we 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 took out quite a few people yeah and got quite a bit of loot out but that's because no one knew how to play the game no, but the thing is at one point later on i was on my own there's four people there three of them started shooting at each other and me one other guy we just stood out of the way and let them kill each other and then just placed our loot on the line <laughs> there's yeah. the other way of doing it so stole their loot and then placed it on so the, the idea is obviously you can actually hide from people because obviously you can't pay attention to everything yeah it's true you can't it's it's i do have to say i like the way they use the grenades actually in this game um with you able to see where other people are throwing it which gives you a chance to evade it Definitely. when you do it yourself it's not instantaneous but, you know, if you think tactically with it, you can get people and kill them with it. Um, I, I I, love the grenades. I had a real, real problem getting used to how they use the grenades. Which is no different from the grenades in uh, Gears of War, so you should be pretty used to it. Yeah, but I kept forgetting. So I was like, I'm holding down the right, the left... D-pad. D-pad, and going... What? Yeah, that's you, you that's just, a grenade I want. You just tap the left D pad for a start. Well, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know that until you were like, tap the left D pad, dude. Yeah. I was holding down right, holding down left. I think half the problem is you kind of skipped the tutorial to come and jump in with us. I think we we had a little bit of a. Did we get a tutorial at the beginning? Um, yeah. I yes. personally thought the controls were quite intuitive, so I didn't have a problem at all. I, I mean, literally, the only problem then, I had was grenades. I don't mind games that uh, don't all handle like a warthog, so it's fine. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I I really did. I mean, once I got over my left D-pad issue, it was phenomenal. The the controls, as you say, were so it's a really intuitive. Good, really good control scheme. Different yeah. from other games, but it works so well. It yeah. does. Yeah, occasionally you'd have an issue where you try and go into cover and you wouldn't be able to quite get around the corner the way you wanted to. Yeah, that's to. the only thing I thought was a little bit weird, but it did come up at one point saying it kind of came up with a swoosh arrow. Yeah. And I thought, oh, maybe if I just do this with the analog, and it actually did work. Yeah, you, you kind push of... it to the side and it'll take you around. Whereas obviously you, your thought is, oh, I have to aim and then press, hold down X to Yeah, move. yeah, basically if you're looking at, a, if you're on a corner and you want to go around the corner, you do a Hadouken without the X button. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but overall, I think this is uh, this beta sold it for me. I wasn't really that keen going up to it. I wasn't too sure. I was probably going to get it, but I wasn't really looking forward to it. The beta really, really sold it for me. Yeah, I pre-ordered it to play the beta because I needed convincing because I was watching YouTube videos of other YouTubers playing the game and wasn't convinced at all. In fact, I was super psyched up for it at E3, and ever since then, I've been going off it for a long time. And now I've played the beta, it's like my favourite game ever. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I always loved this game going forward. I, I really wanted it from the moment I heard about it because I thought it was such a great idea yeah. about the story and all the rest of it. But we don't know what the story is. Well, we, know, we know roughly what the story is. Do we? Yeah. I don't know what the story is. New, uh, as I said at the oh, beginning... Oh, post-apocalyptic. Oh, yeah, yeah. But that's not enough to, for me to go on the game. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> um, oh, and there's but, some guys with flamethrowers. Great. I don't know who they are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're the bad people. Chris. Bunch of guys walk yeah. around in beanie hats. Man, I need that game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, says so the guy who spent ages going, I haven't got a hat. I yeah, need a hat. The iconic imagery for this game was the guys wearing beanie hats. Therefore, I wanted a beanie while I played this game. Uh, I had a slouchy. It was much better. It's like these beanies in this game, for me, are like Darth Vader. You don't go watch a Star Wars film apart from the new ones. Now, you don't watch the original trilogy without Darth Vader. Those beanie hats are Darth Vader. 
They Fair represent enough. the division, you know what I mean? Uh, either way, I <laughs> had iconic look. I had great hopes for this game, and this beta has just proven that even though Ubisoft pushed the release date back, they did the right choice by making it a much better game for doing that. Yeah, and I think everything that's been scaled back has been scaled back mm. for the right reasons, and they've concentrated on everything to make it exciting. Yeah, I and to be fair, Chris, your whole I don't think it's really a good game kind of got to me a little bit, which is why I didn't pre-order. Until after I'd played the beta for like three hours with you guys, and then I went and pre-ordered it. It's better to be safe than sorry. And to be honest, we have been let down a little bit by games when they've come out. Like Destiny, we loved it, but we did not have enough bad comments to say about it. <clears throat> stuff we it's, wished that Im- had improved. Yeah, Whereas with true. this, I personally don't have anything I can complain about. I'm really happy with what I've got. If they make improvements and upgrades, fine, but I'm still not disappointed with what I have. Yeah, I agree. Phenomenal game. Love the beta. If you guys are really unsure, there's an open beta coming up on the 18th for Xbox and the 19th for PS4 and PC. So if you didn't get a chance to play the closed beta, grab the open beta to see what we've been talking about. And I might just add that this is the first game that I've played that's actually made me want to get the season pass before I've even got the game. Yeah. Which hasn't happened for a long time. Yeah. So I've already pre-ordered the game with the season pass. Uh, I've pre-ordered the game, but I'm going to change my pre-order to the one with the season season pass. <laughs> Sean Connery is going to be playing this game. Yeah, awesome. well, I, I actually pre-ordered the, the normal one, but um, well, got beta downloaded, started playing it, and suddenly went back to the store, and it seemed to have cancelled my pre-order, even though I wasn't one of those trying that sneaky method. Um, but it's done it, and I will probably be get the one with the season pass. Awesome. Yes, so we'll be playing this game for at least I 12 think, months. I hate to say it, I think this is the first game that we've all bought that we've all got the season pass for apart from Destiny. Yeah. It's because we don't want anyone being ahead of each other. That's why. We want to <laughs> yeah. all level up at the same time. Actually, talking about the leveling up system, that if you level up faster than your friends, you're not going to be able to play with your friends. Yeah, so one negative about the Dark Zone I found uh, with Jasper from Flet Gaming was that I joined with my character that was fully level 8 and he had only just started at level 5. He'd gone straight into the Dark Zone. So I was like, yep, I'll help you out. Walked in. And was placed in different dark zones. Different instances, yeah. But yeah. that that only affects <clears throat> dark, the dark zone. In the normal single yeah. player, you can be any level and help each other. Yeah, yeah, and when you go back, you still get experience points and everything. So that's good. You can help your friends that have been inside the dark zone. You're completely um, taken away from your friends. You can't play with them if they're not high but enough But of course, level. dark zone experience is different from the main game yeah. experience. So you have DZ, to- DZ experience yes the main game experience um you level up it was an orange number yeah uh, the highest you could do in the beta was eight you start off at level four and dark zone experience uh the highest you could get was level 12 uh, if you die obviously you lose some of that experience um but yeah so dark i believe zone... the end game rank the highest rank you can get is level 30 isn't it uh, I'm not too sure I haven't looked into that. Sure obviously, that may 30. change over time, just like yeah. it does with most of these games. It's so. it's worth pointing out that the level does hinder your ability to equip certain equipment if you don't meet the requirements yeah, for yeah. it. You get we- level 5 weapons, level 7 weapons, level 8 weapons. Yeah, exactly. And it's I think it's a phenomenal levelling up system. Very well balanced, I thought. Yeah. 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 The only niggle being the Dark Zone, so obviously you'll have to get the lower players out and try and level them up which might be difficult later on when you're two or three levels and the the level gaps are so large but to start off with it shouldn't be too much of difficulty i think it took me like an hour to get mm. from level four to, to level so six. if you have a group of friends like we do if you have four buddies that you want to play this game with quite a bit make sure you all try and level up together yeah so callum don't play the game solidly for two days before we're on okay I, I, Gary, I'll try not same. to. Let's level up, level up together. Yeah. <laughs> we, to be fair, all for one and one for all. One bit, adv- one bit of advice I would give anyone listening to this or watching this is, pick three friends and try and play it all together at the same time, because it's such a great team game. That like, if I play this, I can think of playing it without you guys, because. It, it just feels wrong not playing it with people. No, it's true, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. You want to play with your best buddies. Yes. Even if one of them isn't a team player. Yeah, yep. Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Callum. Callum. <laughs> okay, well, I think that's uh, three thumbs up from us. 
Uh, uh, six thumbs up. Yeah, because we got two each. Yeah, six thumbs up for the uh, closed beta. Hopefully, the open beta will uh, bring this to more people. And uh, we hope to see you in the dark zone uh, and kill you and loot you. I Maybe. really want to start singing the danger zone now. Looting in the dark zone. Looting in the dark zone. I wonder if you can make a character look like Tom Cruise and Ice. Is it Ice? Is that his name, Ice? Ice Man. Ice Man? Yeah. You'll be Goose. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to die early on. I don't want to die. Anyway. It's, it's alright, you can call over to us. And then I will not revive you. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon. Game on. Game on, dude. <laughs> Game on, Wayne. <laughs>